In today's video, we are going to be learning how to upload fonts to Canva. Hi everyone. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to upload custom fonts to Canva. So you can see here that I have created my own custom font right here. It's called Sunny Summer. And I had to import this into Canva to be able to use it in my designs, as you can see here. So I'm going to teach you how to do this for yourself so that you can either download custom fonts and buy some from other places online and upload them to Canva to be able to use them or you can create your own fonts and upload them to Canva super quickly. Now the first step to uploading fonts into Canva is to make sure that you download the font onto your computer. So whether you're downloading it and you own it or whether you're downloading it from a website that you have bought a font from. So Canva is compatible with TTF, OTF, TTC, and WOFF fonts. The most likely ones that you'll come across are just TTF and OTF fonts. This right here is an OTF font and I have mine in my downloads so that is going to help us and that's where we're going to be pulling it from. So the first thing that you need to do is you're going to open your Canva in your browser. So I'm going to open to my home page here and there are two ways that we can upload a font to Canva. So I'm going to show you the first way which is through the Canva brand kit. The first step is to go to the home page of Canva. Now we are going to go on the left side here and scroll down until we see brand kit. Now we're going to click on brand kit and we're going to click over here. You will see your textiles and you'll see your uploaded fonts. You'll also see all of the color palettes that you have uploaded as well. So we're going to click on uploaded fonts. And you can see here, these are all the fonts that I have uploaded personally. And I'm going to click upload a font. So this is where we need to make sure that we already have the font on our computer, where it's right here, Sunny Summer OTF. So this font I created with my own handwriting and I created a font out of it so that I can use it in my designs. So I'm going to open that and it's going to make you confirm that you have rights to use it. Now, if you created the font yourself, you obviously have rights to use it. Otherwise, if you bought the font, just make sure that you have either personal or commercial rights to use it and then only use it according to the license that you did purchase. So since I created this, I'm going to click yes, upload. And anybody that purchases my fonts as well are able to use them. They do get a license for them. So if you were to purchase this font, you would be able to upload it as well. So as you can see, it's right here at the top of our font, sunny summer regular. So that is going to be our font that we're going to be working with. So now I'm going to go back to my design here. And I have this right now in just Josephine Bold. And I want to change it all to Sunny Summer. So I can go through and now I can just type in Sunny Summer. And it will pull up my font. And I'll be able to use it in every single one of my designs. So I'm going to just copy all of this here and change it to sunny summer. So you can see I just did it for the calendar and I think I want to do it for this whole design. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it all over. There you go. I'm going to edit it a little bit to make everything exactly how you want it to look. Switch things up. And that is exactly how I want mine to look. So that's one way that you can do this. And I'm going to show you a second way how to upload a font. So I'm just going to click on this text box right here and we are going to show you the second way to upload a font. So I'm going to click on the text box and then go over here to where you can choose your typeface and you're going to click down on that. Now you'll see all of your different fonts here. You'll see recently used, uploaded, and then right here where it says upload font, we're going to click that and it will take us through the exact same process. So I'm just going to upload this a second time so that you guys will be able to see it. So Sunny Summer, open. If you have rights to it, you click Yes, Upload. And then your font is going to be uploaded. So now if we type in Sunny Summer as we did earlier, now we have two of them because obviously we uploaded it twice. So say now that we have that uploaded, say we didn't want the font anymore. Since I uploaded it twice, I don't want it in there twice. So I'll show you how to change that. So we're going to go to our home page and then you just go back to your Canva brand kit down here and then you go to your uploaded fonts and you can see I have it in here twice. So I'm just going to delete that so that I only have it in here once. Delete font permanently. There we go. 
you can see that we've already had this ready to go. But if I wanted to just type with my font, I can do that as well. So I'm going to just copy this text box, paste it here, and I can just type away. So I'll show you right here how we can just add text to your document and it is in your font. So this font is my favorite because it is actually my handwriting. So I love using this font for anything that has to do with notebooks or anything a little bit more informal. Um, this is just such a great font. So I use this for my desktop wallpaper. And if you're interested in this desktop wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it below in the description. And then also, if you are interested in getting a copy of Sunny Summer for yourself, I'll show it to you right here. I will leave a link to this below as well. Um, here's what it looks like with the whole alphabet and all of the symbols that it comes with as well. So this is on my website, but I'll leave a link below if you guys wanted to try it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week with another Canva tutorial.